So welcome this evening. Um, we'll have a little bit of time together and we can um, then enjoy the meditation practice known as deep relaxation. We can practice it here in this room together. We can also be practicing at home online. And um, the Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh and his, um, his Sangha we are, has a, a huge tradition of bringing this kind of deep relaxation into our daily meditation practice, perhaps to begin the day or end the day or a five minute break in the middle of the day is lovely also. And so um, we'll be doing it together for an extended period tonight. Um, you're welcome to be seated or to lie down and the same for you at home. And um, before we begin, it is kind of nice to know who we are together to build a community, to build Sangha. So um, if you would like to offer a one word kind of check in about what's on your mind or in your heart or maybe something in your body, maybe knees or something like that. And um, I would welcome us all to um, give our, our name and our pronouns. We can just go around the circle and um, give one word just to kind of build community together before we practice deep relaxation. And so I'll begin. So uh, dear Thai, dear Sangha, my name is Vanette, and I'm using the pronouns she and ki which is a neutral, gender neutral pronoun from an indigenous language known as Potawatomi. And um, I think my, my, pro my word for the evening is knees. Yeah, I'm feeling my knees. So. I hear, mm -hmm. anyone? We can go around popcorn or however you like. I'll start. Uh, I'm Sophie, she, her. And Nick. Nick. Okay. <laughs> I'm Nora, she, her, and yoga. Mm -hmm. I'm Sophie, he, him. Um, chest is on my mind. I work quite briskly to get here. Mm. So I'm giving. Okay. When he can pronounce and uh, just full of gratitude. Okay. I'm Tom. Uh, he has pronoun, and um, my word is confused. Hmm. And how about our online friends? Hi, I'm Walt. I'm Walt. He am. And uh, what's on my mind is the ever-present back. Back pain. Thanks, Walt. Hi, I'm Allison. She, her. And uh, I would say home alone. Hi, everybody. My name's Diane, and I'm grateful to be here. That's what's on my mind. This practice opportunity. Great. Great. So um, I'll just um, I'll just say again, I think it might be that it's your first time here. Is, is it your first time as well? So I am, I am um, a Sangha sister to the usual teacher on Monday nights. Her name is Augusta Hopkins, and she's with family this evening. So I have the, the wonderful opportunity to come into San Francisco where I don't live. <laughs> so um, and, and share this this sweet practice with you. Okay, so um, yeah, I think it's time to find your way mindfully um, and slowly with great awareness to a comfortable uh, prone position. Um, most people enjoy being on the back, but let's take time to make sure if you need something under your knees or your hips, um, it's nice to have a blanket nearby because even though it's a warm day, sometimes as we experience deep relaxation, the body does cool off. And our goal is to be just 
like a swaddled baby that's been comforted by the most caring, loving adult in the world. And so take your time getting ready. If you're, if you're home and you want to um, um, do anything different, like laying on the bed or something like that, that's fine as well. And um, don't feel obliged to stay where you start, although you may end up doing that because we get deeply relaxed and you may even fall asleep. And that's wonderful. And kind of looking around, it seems like we're about getting ready, ready. Yeah. You're good over there? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So we'll begin with uh, a song and then we'll be focusing with the sound of my voice on different parts of your body. And as thoughts come, we'll be trying to let them flow into the river of later, just later. Thoughts can be taken care of later. And what's in your heart is welcome. It's not a time to be not feeling, but our focus is on our entire body, which is sometimes something that our busy minds and our, our, our caring heart sometimes doesn't really give attention, and we need to give attention to our home. <clears throat> it's the place that we dwell. So right now we're going to dedicate about an hour to taking care of our home. When we finish, there'll be a couple of songs and then just one soft sound of the bell. And then we'll have time for gentle movement and a little bit of sharing from the heart together. Not as much as might be in other meditation times, <clears throat> we tend to be a little beyond words sometimes after deep relaxation. But something might bubble up to share. So I'll offer one sound of the bell, and then we'll begin with a song. Listening to my left side, listening to my right, listening to all of me as day flows into night. Listen to my mind, listen to my heart. Listen to my body, each breath a brand new start. Listen to all ancestors, all life everywhere. People, plants and animals, minerals, water, fire, air. Listen to the oneness in each unique expression. Listen ever more deeply. Love and freedom are the lesson.
So dear friends, as you breathe a little more deeply and a little more slowly, we can be aware of what we can listen to right now. The sounds in this room, the sounds above, the sounds of the street. We can also think back through our day, through the sounds we've heard, voices, voices of people we know, voices of people we don't know, perhaps sounds of nature, birds, cats or dogs. probably some motorized sounds. And we can deepen our awareness of the quiet that is also in this room. And listen to the sounds and also listen to the space between the sounds, the quiet. And as we listen to sounds, we know that there are waves, waves from other beings coming into, into our ears. And we can think about these waves are a pattern that comes into this circular shape in our body. We have this circular shape of the ear on the left and on the right. We can be aware of sounds coming to the left and coming to the right. We know these sounds go in through this eardrum, this tunnel. And this oddly shaped circular brain that we have in our skull accepts these sounds, understands these sounds at times. So this round shape of our head is so full of circular shapes. On the left and on the right, we have the eyes that are presently taking a wonderful break from taking in information. The eyelids are rest resting gently on each eyeball. And the eyeballs are resting deeply in the eye sockets, in the back of our head is most likely laying and feeling the earth supporting below. The shape of the head as it rests on the earth makes another, another circular, another circular shape.
And all these circles remind us of the nature of non, of no coming, no going, no beginning, no ending in a circle. We can feel the skin around our face, meeting the scalp where our hair is coming out from our skin, sort of a circle from the back of the head, a circle from the front, meeting together. We have the circular shape of our mouth as we rest now. It's more kind of a compressed oval, almost, almost a line. Maybe it's a little curve. As we, as we deeply relax, we can be aware of this circular opening that allows us to express ourselves with, with words, with song, with many kinds of sounds that offer meaning to those around us. And this circular shape of the mouth extends down into the throat This circular, circular column going down into our digestive system. And in our breathing system, we have two circles to bring in oxygen and exhale as well through the nose or through the mouth, but we have these hardworking nostrils that bring in the oxygen we need without us even thinking about it. And these molecules of air come in through the nose and down through our nasal passages into our very hardworking lungs. And the skin on our face. All these small cells are little circles, and some of them have different coloration as seasons change or as we age. Some of us have dimples in our in our cheeks when we smile, more circles, maybe a cleft in the chin. And all of these shapes bring, bring the the breath into the body to nourish our home so we can breathe in gratitude to to our ears and our eyes our nose our mouth our eye socket our our throat our nasal passage
all these entryways working together automatically most of the time. Now, with gratitude, we let this, our head be supported on the earth, let our, let our busy minds rest supported on the earth. Just for now, nowhere to go and nothing to do. Just rest deeply and nourish and offer gratitude to all these parts of our home. Moving down from from the head, we have a another circular shape, the neck, a column more than a sphere. Our throat, the larynx, esophagus, and muscles around the neck that are very often tired from holding up the heavy head and looking left and right. Sometimes our throat becomes a little dry from our windy climate that we live in or the city air. So now the the neck surrounding the throat, surrounding the esophagus, deeply relax. No need to hold the head up at this time. No need to look left, to look right, to look up, to look down. Nothing much to swallow maybe an occasional an occasional drop of saliva but not much so the throat and the neck relax and the esophagus can just be part of our breathing apparatus very gently And at the back of this beautiful sphere, our head, we have our spinal column moving down from the brain stem, down the back, where it finds its conclusion in the pelvic floor area. And these columns are all stacked and yet so flexible. The column has moved left and right, forward and back, probably in circular motions for us today. So the spinal column 
is a beautiful part of our skeletal system. And we can be so grateful for all the movement that a spinal column has brought to us today. If our, if our day has given extra, extra need for care, we can be very aware of spinal column the mid-back, the lower back. Just running up and down from the brain stem to the pelvic floor. Grateful to each vertebrae, cushioning between them, the spinal fluid running through the spine. And bringing our awareness back to the throat and the neck area, we can send our awareness on the left side from the neck across the shoulder. down the upper arm on the left, past the bicep to the elbow, from the elbow to the wrist, pausing at the wrist, another circular motion area. Some of us work a lot with repetitive motion, so maybe our wrists will be very grateful for extra awareness and attention. We'll just let them rest right now, but we know that our wrists have, again, circular motion forward and back connecting our arms to, to our hand, aware of the left hand, the palm, the thumb, the four fingers, the fingertips, the knuckles, aware of the space between the fingers. Perhaps your hand is in a, a cupped position right now. Perhaps your hand is resting on the earth. Our hands are so capable of making so many shapes and using tools to, to care for us, to care for each other, to care for our planet. <clears throat> Some of us meet many of our life's tasks with our left hand more often. Some of us do not. But moving from this resting left hand from the fingertips to the palm, to the wrist, to the lower arm, the elbow, 
upper arm and back to the shoulder. You can offer gratitude to this left arm that has been working for us today, carrying, lifting, balancing, working together in harmony with the right hand, the right body side. We bring our awareness from the left shoulder, across the back, past the neck, to the right shoulder. And from the shoulder, we bring our awareness down the upper arm, to the right elbow, down the lower right arm to the right wrist, noting again a place where circular motion is possible as well as bending back and forth. And the elbow too, bending as well as circular motion. And from the wrist, we can pause our awareness and consider the tasks our, our wrist has been part of today. perhaps at a desk, perhaps in a kitchen, perhaps in a garden, perhaps caring for another human or an animal. From the wrist, we bring our awareness to the palm, the right thumb, the four fingers, the fingertips of the right hand, the fingernails, the knuckles, the space between the fingers. And as with the left hand, the right hand can make so many shapes, extended shapes, round shapes. So flexible. So many sensations in our fingertips. So with awareness and gratitude for the information and that our, our senses bring in from our fingertips, hot and cold, soft and hard, wet, dry, smooth, rough, as well as performing countless tasks. We can offer deep gratitude and deep rest to our busy hands. And traveling up from the right palm, awareness comes to the wrist, 
to the lower arm, the elbow. To the upper arm on the right. To our shoulder. And returns across. To the neck and the throat area in the middle of our back. And moving down from the shoulders at the back of the neck, we can come down to the midpoint in the back and be aware of our, our shoulder blades, our upper back region. In our mind's eye, we could see a circular shape, maybe more oblong to the shoulder blades going down to the hips. And right now this hardworking back is resting firmly, gently on the earth. Warm, supported, nothing to carry or lift, just resting. Resting in awareness and in appreciation. And from the neck area and throat area, the front of the body, we can bring our awareness down into our, our chest cavity, where our lungs left and right. Our Breathing without great effort at this time. Perhaps today you've needed to move quickly and your lungs have done the job of processing oxygen for you more quickly, more energy. But just now, the oxygen we take in can be processed in a soothing and slow way to nourish all the cells in our body. Near, <clears throat> near our lungs, we have our hardworking heart. Another part of our body that has a left and a right side. Pumping, working hard for us while we sleep, while we work, while we eat, while we meditate. The heart and lungs constantly taking care of us. So just now, 
We take care of our heart by letting the heart beat slow in our supported body. So our heart can send out blood throughout our blood system. All the arteries and veins and capillaries. This beautiful system of blood flowing in and blood flowing out. taking care of our cells, our, our cells inside, our scales outside, the skin, the hair, the nails, nurturing the tissue, the muscle, ligaments in our joints, Together with these organs, we have all the all the different shapes of our internal organs that are part of our digestive system. Stomach, intestines, liver, two kidneys. Two kidneys for most of us. Many component parts working together again harmoniously. With awareness, we, we know that they are designed to care for us. And when we are aware of how we bring nourishment into our body. We work together harmoniously so our digestive system can hum along with all the parts doing well. So we, we consume with awareness that bringing in healthful ingredients into this digestive system is a very loving way to be at home in our body. Below this digestive system, we have our left lower side and the right lower side. You can be aware of the pelvic floor and shift from the spine to the left hip. The hip socket is another 
round shape, circular shape, circular motion, as well as forward and back motion possible in the pelvic floor. And moving down from the hip socket, we have our, our upper leg on the left, strong, our quadriceps, our hamstrings connecting to the knee, the knee on the left. Another place where we find the possibility of circular motion. The kneecap is a circular shape. The knee has so many component parts of cartilage and ligaments and tissue. Somehow, once again, working in harmony together many, many times. So we can offer awareness for the mobility that the knee brings to, to our body. Legs without knees would be so different. And below the left knee, we can bring awareness to the left shin, the left calf. Both the shin and the calf connect at the ankle. Another place where we have circular motion in our body. We have circular shapes on our ankle bones. Below the ankle, we have the top of the foot, the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot, the ball of the foot. <clears throat> And all of these parts of our foot connect together and at the ball of the foot and the top of the foot, we find our left, our left big toe and the four smaller toes. And like the fingers, the toes are a gateway to many, many sensations. If we've been able to walk barefoot today at home or outside, we've been able to feel the earth, feel the floor, feel, feel nature maybe with the foot, with the toes. And our toes also are part of our balancing system. We rise up on our foot and our toes keep us erect and help us reach for books, glasses, cups, things that are up above that we, we can grasp with our fingers because we balance on our toes as well as the ball of our foot. 
And all of these activities, the walking, the pointing, the reaching, standing on toes. All of this happens so often without our awareness. So for now, very aware of our, our left foot, our left toes. Very aware of how our, our left foot has been part of our day. And moving up from the left toes to the ball of the foot, to the arch, to the heel, to the ankle, the calf, the knee, the upper leg, and the left hip. We bring our awareness back to the hip region of our body and shift our awareness from left to right, bringing awareness to the right hip, the hip socket is the host for the hip bone. Another place where we find circular and spherical shapes in our body. And the possibility of more circular motion with the hip as well as forward and back. Part of our, our way of walking, running, dancing, skipping. It's beautiful, it's beautiful system of movement in the hips. And from this right hip, we bring our, our kind awareness and gratitude to to the muscles in the upper right leg, quadriceps, hamstrings, muscles that connect to the right knee, the right knee has, again, the uh, a spherical circular component, as well as tissues and ligaments that connect the knee to the upper and lower leg, allowing us to make circles, cross our legs, and then run, climb ladders and stairs and hills in San Francisco. So now we can send our awareness from the knee on the right down to the lower right leg, the shin in the front, the calf in the back. Perhaps there's tightness there from motion in the day. Now the calf is resting, being held by the earth. And the shin rests on the calf. And both shin and calf connect at our right ankle. Our ankle 
also has that motion of flexing, straightening, and circling left, circling right. It, the, the ankle performs the shape and the action and the direction that we need for moving about through our day. Our right heel is slightly resting on the earth or a pillow or bed right now. The right heel blends into the arch of our foot. The top of our foot has tendons and muscles. The arch of the foot reaches into the ball of the foot. And the ball of the foot is connected to our, our five right toes. Big toe and the four smaller toes. Where we have many sensations. Many acupressure points in the feet are connected to our digestive organs. The sensitivity in our in our feet is part of our well-being. And the strength and the flexibility in our feet gives us motion in the world. So moving up from our, our right toes with awareness through the right foot, top, bottom, heel, ankle, bringing this kind awareness into the shin and the calf, the right knee, Uh, upper right leg, quadriceps, hamstrings, connecting, connecting to the hip and the hip socket. From the left, from the right hip socket, coming back to our spinal column, shifting over to the left hip, and send our awareness down our legs, seeing if there are sensations of any kind in the legs that will benefit from your kind attention, your gratitude, 
so that we bring this awareness more deeper into our focus. We can greet our lower body left and right. A smiling kind of gratitude. And our assurance that, that we're listening and we'll take care of, of our home, our bodies, the way our bodies need us to do that. And moving up from <clears throat> up the hips through the through the torso, the front, the back. We listen again with kind awareness to, to our body at this time as we are deeply relaxed. Is there something from our muscles, our digestive system? Our heart, our lungs. Is there something that we can hear with our heart and mind as a message from the body? We can listen as well to our, our arms and our hands left and right, our shoulders connected to our torso, but more composed of bone and muscle and tissue than organs. But still our our arms, our fingers, our wrists also speak to us. And moving up from the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the face, the ears, the mouth, the eyes, our busy brain. Is there some message? from this circular part of our body. Something as simple as dry skin or chapped lips. Eye strain.
So we can bring our kind awareness from the crown of the head in a circular motion down the left side of the body from the outside to the left foot, cross to the right foot, and up the outside of the right body to the crown of the head. Also bring our awareness from the crown of the head down the back of the head, down the spinal column, through the hips, through the back of the legs, through the heels, to the toes, and bring this kind awareness up the top of the feet, the front of the legs, the knees, all the way up the legs to the hips, and rising up through the torso to the crown of the head. Just feeling these circular motions, left and right, top to bottom, front to back. Just bringing peaceful awareness and kind attention throughout your body. I am a cloud, I am the blue sky, I am a bird spreading out her wings. I am a flower, I am the sunshine, I am the earth receiving a seed. And I am free when my heart is open. I am free when my mind is clear. Oh, dear family of all beings, let's live together mindfully. You are a flower. You are the blue sky, you are the earth, receiving a seed. You are a flower, you are the sunshine, you are the earth, receiving a seed. And you are free when your heart is open. You are free when your mind is clear. Oh, dear family of all beings, let's live together peacefully, joyfully, mindfully. Oh,
right, all right. At home I am at home, dwelling in the here, dwelling in the now. Calm as a mountain, free as a white cloud. The door to no birth and no death is open, free and unshakable. So, dear Sangha friends, you can begin to slowly move your body a little bit, fluttering the eyes when you're ready, very mindfully, with kindness to your body, to your mind, to your heart. Maybe wiggling fingers, wiggling toes. And ever so slowly and gently rolling to left side or right side and finding your way to either a comfortable seated position, or if you'd like, especially if you're home, to just remain on your side. It's also okay. If you are, um, if this sounds good to you, you are welcome to kind of give yourself a little head massage. Um, there's so many ways to do this. You can be tapping, you can be scratching. You might like to touch the forehead or cheeks, ears. There's probably something in you now that's saying, hey, <laughs> me, might be your shoulder, lower back. Tapping is really nice, but it's not required. <laughs> might be some neck rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so now um, we do have a little time and um, part of our meditation practice is speaking from the heart and becoming more and more skillful at deep listening so that when one one of our Sangha family is speaking. We we just take it in like nourishing rain on dry soil. There's something to learn from each other. And we're not here to 
discuss or explain. And um, sometimes there's a talk and then we have some thoughts about in response to the talk. But after deep relaxation, the, the response is more likely something about um, caring for ourselves or um, how body practice is part of our, our sangha practice, part of our meditation practice. So we do have a mic and we're also really small. <laughs> so we might not need to use the mic. And um, in my tradition, Plum Village tradition, we do like to bow in and say our name when we speak. And then while we have the floor, we speak until we feel complete. And then we like to bow out. And that's kind of the signal that someone else can go. And don't feel any obligation after all that. The mic is really for the folks on Zoom. So the people are talking. Oh, these? Oh, uh, okay. So we would. Yeah, if you don't mind using the. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. And of course, um, friends on Zoom are also invited. And would you like to come in closer or? Are you good where you are? I was great. So I didn't want to interrupt that. I certainly enjoyed the bit. Great. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm Nora. Um, thank you so much. First of all, that was a lot of effort on your part. I felt like really appreciative of the, all of everything you were saying and walking us through that. So really appreciate that. Um, is this working? Can you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, it's good. Yeah. I think they hear us. <laughs> I, for me, the, the beginning of the experience was exactly kind of what I was hoping for, like really restful, but not asleep, but like kind of still having little dreams every couple of seconds, which was really nice. Um, there was a point where I like kind of jolted awake, which I would like to investigate later. But um, in general, I have a lot of feelings of just relaxation and I feel like this is something I want to incorporate more in addition to like sitting meditation because I feel like it achieves something very different. So thank you. I'm Glenn, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you here and to this. You are such a gentle soul, and it was just so different to let that gentleness in and just, you know, trust and let go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The body really um, goes through so much and you really helped me to just focus that gratitude energy towards my own body and um, the things that just take for granted and slowing down so valuable. Thank you. <laughs> I am Satvik. Thank you once again for guiding us through that practice. 
for me, this was a time to be present with myself. It's something that I am trying to practice to do intentionally. And because of that, through the process, whenever I caught myself feeling uncomfortable in my body or going through with a waterfall of thoughts, I just allowed myself space and tried to get back to the practice just to keep it as natural and as flowing as possible and to not put any pressure on myself to be a certain way. And I felt like this one hour was a perfect opportunity to just be that, to be whatever I'd like to be in a very loving, comforting space that you as well as I provided to myself. Thank you. Anyone online? <laughs> See one more. Oh, that's me. I'm Walt. I'm the host. Uh, uh, I have to uh, definitely express my gratitude uh, to you because uh, for the past uh, week or so, I have been experiencing some significant um, lumbar pain, which I'm familiar with. I've had a uh, couple of uh, surgeries and um, mm -hmm. the deep relaxation practice this evening um, was uh, certainly helpful um, uh, in terms of uh, um, lessening, I think, both that pain and my um, me concentrating on that pain. So uh, it was uh, definitely very helpful. And I want to thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, dear friends, thank you. Talk over the bells. <laughs> we'll wait for the bells. <laughs> so thank you again everyone it's really such a gift to be with you thank you and um we'll say um yeah our teacher Thich Nhat Han, um has a way of saying if you have a toothache you know what where do you not where does it not hurt <laughs> so focus on the non-toothache part and I think that's part of the deep relaxation part too so really notice because sometimes yeah, my D really is bothering me, but my arms are strong or, and that's, you know, that 
that's that interbeing, the quality. And plus the harmony of the body is is amazing. <laughs> really, it's a community of hardworking individual parts that keep us alive and help us help each other. So um, we do a bow. Can we do a bow? <laughs> so we'll have one bow to uh, come to standing. And with this bow, we can bow to each other to the Sangha that supports our practice. And then um, you can, um, I will recite the merit which is in the Pond Village tradition, the, the fruits of our practice be benefit to all beings and bring peace, joy, and liberation to all. So um, if you like, you can find a Buddha, find an altar. We can look out the window, but um, please join me in sharing merits. May the fruits of our practice be of benefit to all beings and bring peace, joy, and liberation to all. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>